Hi, I'm 26 weeks pregnant and of course getting bigger. People actually have been asking me in the street when my, um, when my due date is. They seem to be surprised that it's not sooner. So I may be bigger than most, maybe, I don't know. Um, but everyone is different and I think because this baby is pretty big, uh, that's why I look pretty big. This week the baby's about the size of a butternut squash. I don't have a butternut squash with me today, but I do plan on getting one. I kind of feel like I want to eat one right now. <laughs> one of the developments that are happening this week is that the baby is opening his eyes. So I'm going to have to do some experiments and see how, uh, how the light affects him. Maybe he'll move more if I put like a light on him. So we'll see how that works. He's still moving a lot. And uh, we actually went to see a movie the other day, Thor, the movie Thor that just came out, and he was like moving around the whole time. So he really liked that. I've been having more pain this week, like in the upper torso area here. I think it's because my internal organs are being like squashed. So it's kind of, sometimes there's like pain, sharp pain and, uh, and some itchiness. Lately, it's also been harder to bend over. I find it harder to tie my shoes and to, well, I was cleaning the house the other day so it was kind of hard to bend over. I've been uh, using this trick that I saw on the internet where you can take your pants, uh, like a jean, pair of jeans or something, and put a rubber band, and put a rubber band inside the, um, the hole and tie it to the, to the button and then you can wear it. Now it was working for a while and then the other day I did it and I think it's getting a little bit too tight because I felt like I had a mark on my lower abs afterwards, my lower abdomen. I went to, uh, I wanted to look and see what it looked like. Turns out I can't see down there, which actually made me laugh a lot. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you can't see down there anymore. I've been still lif lifting pretty heavy and my squats have gotten actually better my, my, with a barbell. I have decided, uh, I have modified my deadlifts a little bit because uh, it's kind of hard to bend over so I'm putting them a little bit higher than usual. It's called rack pulls. Then it's easier to bend over and pick it up. Now I've decided this week that it's the last time I'm doing heavy barbell bench press. Uh, I got up to 132.5 pounds and I think the dangers are not are outweighing the benefits of doing it. So I'm going to switch to dumbbell versions or a lighter barbell for now until the baby comes and then we'll get back into it because I think in terms of my goals it's more important to keep my lower body strong keep my upper body strong as well but with less dangers the bench press is one of the more dangerous lifts especially if you're doing them at home so that's going to be out for now uh, stick around at the end of the video I'm going to post the workout that I did with the last bench press so you can see uh, how I did I had to actually modify a whole workout the other day because uh, most of the exercises just didn't work for me and that will also be at the end of this video so check it out at the end so i haven't really gone shopping yet i probably should i uh i've just been wearing like mostly what's nice about my job working as a martial arts and personal trainer is that i'm usually wearing exercise clothing and um, sweats and stuff so <laughs> i don't have to really worry about what i wear but when i go out i kind of have only this one pair of leggings that I wear, so I should probably go out and get some. My friend actually uh, just gave me some clothes that were too big on her, so I'm gonna try those on and see if any of those work. And I also started wearing my husband's sweater, which is gigantic, but it makes me look like, you know, the 1980s, and I heard that the 1980s are back these days. So, you know, big sweater, leggings, perfect. <laughs> I'm excited this week because we're going to have an ultrasound finally after like more than a month that we haven't had one. So next week, I'll show you some of the, pic the pictures from the ultrasound so you can see how the baby is growing and I'll let you know what the doctor says, how everything is going. Piper moved to here, so I decided to move the, the camera to, to this side. And also Spartacus is in here, so I wanted him to be in the video as well. Anyway, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up down below. And if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.